Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for um, October 11th, 2021. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Um, it's just not feeling right putting the cards down beforehand. So I'm going to shuffle. I already pre-shuffled. All right. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I hope you're having a good weekend. A little more. All right. I'm just going to put them all down. Just try to speed myself up. Message from Spirit. The sky in the reverse. Inspiration. Knight of Cups in the upright. Strength, fears, and feelings. Queen of Coins in the upright. Intuition, Queen of Cups in the upright. Closure, Four of Wands in the upright. Oops. Outcome, Six of Swords in the upright. Near future, Eight of Wands in the reverse. At the bottom of all this, the Eight of Coins in the reverse. Recent past, rest in the reverse. All right. Oh, and advice. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords. Can you guys see that? There. King of Swords in the upright. So this could be regarding something official or an air sign. Someone, um, bottom of the deck is what you don't see coming. So there could be an air sign coming with some kind of truth. King of Swords is very professional, very deliberate, very, they choose their words. They're very smart. They're by the book, they follow the rules. Could be authority. So, the sky in the reverse. Someone could be disappointed. This could be about love at first sight as well. Inspiration, Knight of Cups in the upright. Someone is bringing you an offer. Someone loves you. Someone has something nice to say. Someone has a really good idea. In your strength, fears, and feelings, you have the Queen of Coins in the upright. So you're feeling very stable. You're feeling like um, you have a lot of responsibilities. You could be feeding someone. You could be supporting someone. You could be paying someone. In your intuition, you have the Queen of Cups in the upright. So that's feeling very spiritual, very loving. I just heard wise. Someone is, someone looks very healthy emotionally with the Queen of Cups in the upright. That's in your intuition. You're, you're giving, you're forgiving, you're loving, you're bestowing some kind of spirit, something, ben, something um, benevolent. It's a very benevolent feeling in your intuition. Love wins. Closure, four of wands in the upright, that is togetherness, that is an agreement, that's a family, that's um, a baby shower, that's a happy job. Everyone is getting along in closure. In your outcome, you have six of swords in the upright, so that's moving on to peace. That's getting a transfer. Um, there could be some disappointment about a transfer. Could be a transfer of money, could be a transfer of goods, could be um, just leaving, going away for peace. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Um, there's some kind of bickering, there's some kind of back and forth, people blaming each other. Like, it feels like these people, they love each other, but they're in some kind of disagreement it's your fault no it's your fault no, it's your fault um maybe this because this is moving on to peace maybe this is being dropped because there that looks like somebody makes up their nine of coins in the upright someone's taking accountability someone is being very um independent 
someone's worked something out. Ten of Swords in the upright. Afflictions. Something's ending. That's a painful ending. Or a lot of writing. A lot of words or a lot of numbers. Queen of Coins is holding a big coin. So something's over. Yeah, somebody could be coming single. That Knight of Cups and Nine of Wands. Or sorry, Nine of Coins in the upright. Someone's becoming self-sufficient. Someone's holding their head up high in some kind of en ending as well. Someone knows who she is. Somebody found out who she is through that ending. And somebody wants to be single with that Knight of Cups and the Nine of Coins. Somebody wants to be independent. Somebody wants to be single. And it feels like that's a masculine energy. So it feels like they're... There could be a breakup here. It looks like two people want to go separate ways. Or this is all one person. Like it looks like someone's not really interested in love. They might be more interested in work. Like they're giving all of their love to something independent. Something, um, something abundant. I better put the rest of them down. All right, um, eight of coins in the reverse, false flattery. False flattery. The firmament in the upright, happiness. Wow, that's a really happy group of people in the closure. Like everyone's happy here. It looks like there is some kind of dispute with that nine of cups in the reverse. Like someone's wanting to blame someone else. There's love at first sight and blaming someone else. I don't know what that is, but it's moving on to the six of swords and the outcome. So, oh yeah, I was gonna put all the cards down. Okay, where was I? Um, up here. So nine of wands in the reverse. So someone's exhausted. Like, yeah, someone's exhausted. Someone's tired of blaming other people or someone's tired of taking the blame. Um, but I feel like someone raises the white flag there. Someone is disappointed. They didn't get what they wanted, but they're, um, they want to move on to peace. And it's kind of like someone saying, go ahead, blame me. Do whatever you want to do. I'm moving on. Someone is definitely moving on. Someone's moving on with love as well, with that Knight of Cups in the upright and um, and independence. Like they're, they're, I just heard the word cleave. I don't know what that means. Um, they're cleaving to something. They're, this is something noble. It's like they're, they can't get anywhere with these people. Um, I feel like someone's also wishing these people love with that firmament. Or those people are happy that this person is walking away. But there's definitely two people here, at least. And they're going in very, very different directions. All right. Let's put the rest down. Three of coins in the upright. Oh, sorry. Yeah, in the upright. Um, temperance in the reverse. Someone could be not feeling, oops. Tower in the upright, in the recent past, and 10 of cups in the reverse in your advice. And bottom of the deck, glory in the reverse. Someone's very, very sad. Someone's sad because something wasn't a happy ending. Something's ending someone, um, there's an official, an official notice or an official message to someone that something is not continuing. That could be a job. Um, it's like you're not, someone's not going to have forever after in something. Yeah, it could be someone's getting their notice. It could be a divorce. It could be someone getting fired or, but it's something sad. 
All right. Um, sky in the reverse. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, so it feels like it's some kind of disappointing ending. Something... Something is ending. Is this two cards? Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I did that. I put two cards there, so let's put them all together. So, okay, so you've, now you've got this guy in the reverse in the middle of the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Swords in the upright. Woe, plur, tears. Tears, disappointment, and some kind of dream dashed. It's called fault in this deck. So someone could be taking the blame for something. Someone's getting let off. Someone, it, it really feels like it's like a, like this feels like gang stalking or or a bunch of people against one person and exhausting them, making them defend themselves. Like it feels like endlessly. And hopefully um, this King of Swords and Glory in the reverse is like, I don't know, it's feeling, it's feeling like it's something needs to end because somebody really wants to move on to peace here. Their inspiration is the Knight of Cups in the upright and the Nine of Coins in the upright. So, yeah, so somebody really, they have something to give. Like, they've been forced in some kind of situation to defend themselves relentlessly against some kind of attacks or... And it could have been someone you love because you've got love at first sight here. Like, someone really went for you or a bunch of people went for you and blamed you for something and you are moving on to you have an idea or someone's going to give you an idea and it's going to set you up somehow with this nine of coins in the upright like you're going to be self-sufficient here or at least that's your goal but there's a lot of love and independence and abundance there it could mean single um but it, it kind of feels like you're loving yourself, actually, because that Knight of Cups in the upright, he can be, um, you know, like a suitor, someone that is interested in you. But the Nine of Coins feels like you want to be single, so it feels like you're kind of loving yourself, really. Um, in your strength, feelings, and fears, you have the Ten of Swords in the upright, again. So two Ten of Swords in the upright, so definitely something painful is ending. And then you have the Queen of Coins in the upright, again, that's abundance, but it's also letting go of something. Um, it feels like someone is really holding their head up high there. It does. Someone could also be hiding pain or hiding some kind of illness because this is called, called afflictions. But she looks healthy. Could be behind her. They could be mental afflictions, but there's something. She's walking away from something painful. She's rising above something. In your intuition, you have the Queen of Cups in the upright and you have the Nine of Coins in the reverse. This is in your intuition. You're hiding your feelings. In your heart, you're feeling very spiritual, very loving, very forgiving, um, very... I feel like this, somebody feels very emotionally stable here, um, but also full of emotions, full of spirit, full of emotions, full of love, something good, um, but nine of coins in the reverse means you're hiding them from other people, you're hiding them from um, others, you're not sharing your emotions. Closure, how long are we? 14. Closure, four of wands in the upright. A lot of people agreeing, a lot of people happy. Everybody's happy here. Happy and in agreement. There could be a wedding. There could be some kind of celebration. So something is very, very happy here. There's 
maybe four people in an agreement here. But everyone's in agreement and everyone is happy. It feels like this, I don't know what it is, this argument or this disagreement or this, um, actually there's a, there's a name for that, uh, scapegoat. Somebody, somebody was a scapegoat here. A lot of people blamed somebody. But someone's exhausted, like I said, and they're moving on. Okay, so in the near future, you have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And you have the Three of Coins in the upright. Eight of Wands in the reverse. So, yeah, that's, that's a disagreement. That's a lack of communication. That is um, choosing not to do something at this time. Um, three of Coins in the upright. That is collaboration that's working on something with someone. And I feel like at this moment in the near future, someone is going to um, not want to talk to anybody. Somebody wants to delay working together with someone. This is also about connecting with spirit. Um, it feels like you're... <laughs> Like somebody wants to be alone, but they're not feeling alone. Someone's very, very, yeah, it's feeling like over here. Someone's really connected to spirit. Someone is feeling not alone when they're alone. Um, and it feels like people are a distraction right there or communication is a distraction. It feels like somebody literally is going away to heal. They're going to silence or something like that. They're, they want to be alone with their God. That's what I'm feeling there. I'm really feeling like somebody wants to be alone to heal because she's putting that Ten of Swords behind her. At the base of this, Eight of Coins in the reverse. So something not working, something um, that you don't want to work on. Temperance in the reverse. And yeah, this, this could be an illness. Taking time off because of an illness, maybe this is an illness. It could be. But someone, someone, it's something big. It's something traumatic. And someone is leaving for peace. Self-love, self-love. Um, rising above. Yeah, this feels like a sabbatical or something like that. And then in your recent past, you have the tower and rest in the reverse. So the tower is some kind of breakthrough or it's beside the firmament with that sun. So it feels like there's like a some kind of truth coming out, some kind of truth explosion. Also rest in the reverse is like the high priestess and in the reverse, it's it can mean selfishness, but it also means truth coming out. Someone's spilling secrets. They're getting exposure. There's some kind of mass agreement here at this secret coming out. And I, oh, wow. It actually, it feels really huge. And it feels like there's somebody here. Someone's been massively betrayed. Something is coming out on a huge scale here. Like I'm feeling like, like publicity, like someone is literally going, maybe this is like a celebrity or something. Um, because someone's like leaving a situation by themselves to be alone, to be alone with their God, major betrayal behind them, keeping their head held high, but they don't want to be seen and they don't want to be talked to or they don't want to be engaged with. Like someone, someone's feeling very, very, um, and they're, and they're not telling anybody how they feel. And she's looking right at the Ten of Cups in the reverse, which is people that are angry or people that are upset. It's a family, um, or it could just be any kind of group. And I feel like it's right below the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So these people are angry and blame you or blame somebody. And it's somebody that you've loved from the very beginning. 
or these people or this is like your family or these are your co-workers or something like that um it you know what it feels like oh let me just go to this nine of wands in the reverse again so yeah um this queen of coins is looking right at that and this queen of cups is looking at this these mad people and this queen of coins is looking at this exhaustion and she's like no i don't even want to have this conversation so somebody wants to have a conversation with another there are two women here so there's a queen of cups who wants to have a conversation with the queen of coins the queen of coins is like no i'm done with this because this queen of cups is really mad she might be part of this family that blames her um it, it kind of feels like someone is blaming someone for someone else's illness or something. Some There's somebody that's ill and there's somebody that has been scapegoated and something's coming out really, really big. And these people's... Oh, okay. Another thing that's coming out is that it's not this person's fault. The truth is coming out. Okay, okay, okay. So, I don't know what this is, but people, I'm, I, I'm feeling this Queen of Coins. Um, also, this Queen of Cups. It could be the same person, but I'll try to break it down really fast because it's 20-something. Um, okay, so some kind of big, huge truth is coming out. I feel like it's clearing somebody, this Queen of Cups or this Queen of Coins, it's clearing somebody of something that they've been blamed for for a long time or it's really harsh. Something is over. Someone might have died. Somebody might have died. And somebody doesn't want to talk to prying people or people that are mad at them or people that are falsely upset at them. This person is going away somewhere to retreat. They want to be alone with their God. They're going to heal. Someone's going to um, someone needs to like do nothing or something after all of this exhaustion. And then there's this Queen of Cups who is holding in all her feelings and not sharing them with anybody. And she's she's looking at this Ten of Cups in the reverse like she's like she understands, but she's not saying anything. There's definitely some kind of like deep, deep, deep love here. Like it's family or it's people that you were really connected to and they turned against you. Truth is coming out, and now you're moving away to heal. And for peace because you're freaking exhausted all right you guys that is your reading for today i love you enjoy your weekend bye or for people who have long weekends this weekend okay bye